All right, I think I'm ready. First test of the electric YZ85. Let's see what this thing can do. So we're mainly just testing range and its capability off-road. We are at Way Hutta in North Carolina. I've been here a couple times, brought the Grave Ninja here, and it was the last time I brought that thing somewhere and broke it. So we'll see. We'll see how this thing does. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Oh, this thing is a lot smaller than my other dirt bike. That's me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Is that electric? That's electric. Hell yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's made in test to see how all well this thing's gonna do. Shoot yeah. Yeah. TTR 1.5 frame. Yeah, it's a YZ85. YZ85 frame. It's a little small. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You guys gonna go ride? Yeah. If you want to go ahead, we'll yeah. follow you around, maybe. I, you want me to lead? Yeah, if you want to. Alright. Yeah. That's alright. Or we'll. Yeah, yeah. instant torque is something that is strange and you gotta get used to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this thing's fun! Holy crap, this is sensitive. Good traffic jam! Yeah! <laughs> Crap is a throttle sensitive. Dude, that thing's dorky. Yeah. <laughs> Man. You're gone. So far, the suspension is a hundred times better than my other electric dirt bike. It actually absorbs bumps. It's actually working properly. <laughs> Man. That's what I'm here to find out. I just charged it full yesterday, so who knows? I mean, it's a 46 amp hour battery, so so far the motor's staying cool.
me as I get home. I think I still got a lot of power on medium. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I think it's gone. I'm going to come up that way and then fly and then do it again. Okay. Okay. Y'all want to try it? I'll try it. Yeah. You want it on medium or high? I put it on medium. <laughs> <laughs> There's medium, so this is rear brake. Okay. And oh, that's weird. that was front brake. Okay. No. Alright, I got it. Have to touch the gas. <laughs> you want it on a high range now? No. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> medium oh range is about uh, 75% power. Really? Yeah. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I barely touched it and the front wheel comes up off the ground. Yeah. Alright, that was cool. Met some uh, met some fans. So now. Let me say some things about this thing. So my first impressions of this thing is, holy crap, is it fun. It is uh, 10 times better than the first electric dirt bike that I built. That thing's kind of, I don't know, it's a bit garbage. Unsprung weight's an issue. This rear tire's just way too heavy. The suspension is almost perfect on this thing. The gearing is pretty much perfect. The suspension is amazing kind of bottoms out sometimes if you hit jumps a little too hard, but it's an 85, so it's probably gonna just bottom out no matter what. But uh, having so much instant torque with this is incredible. Not having gears, not having a clutch, and just having just instant torque. It's a little, it's a little insane, but uh, man, this thing's fun. So we're still on trail one. I'm just gonna keep going that way. I'm not really, I don't know, maybe I'll try and do some of the harder trails. I should have gra should grabbed a map. I don't want to get lost out here by myself. So this thing basically fe it feels like a, a pit bike on steroids. This thing is it's a bit nuts. And holy crap, is the throttle sensitive? That one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where I am. I'm just gonna follow one. One thing I'd love to do is compare this to an actual YZ85. Do a complete comparison to this and a stock YZ85. Do drag racing, top speed test, hill climb test. I'd love to be able to do that. I just, I need to find another YZ85. You can hear any noises, but I think it's just rocks hitting the aluminum bottom, the aluminum battery box. So that rattling is getting worse and worse. What is it? 
Is that my skid plate falling off? So not really sure what that rattling is, but you know what? Just ignore it and keep you well, keep going. Yeah, I should have, I should have taken a picture of the map before going, because I don't really know where I am, but I'm trying to stick on just trail one, and assuming that's the one that goes in a huge loop with this thing. Somebody in the comments of one of the videos of this thing had a really good name for this. The YZ85 No Stroke. <laughs> That's brilliant. This thing coasts really well. Uh, so it's saying one is this way. One A. I'm just sticking with one. Whoa, let's go this way. Come on, baby. Come on. Stop sliding. Come on. Easy on the throttle. Just slowly. There we go. <laughs> Just keep going. I have a general idea of where I am. No, I'm not lost. And I still have about, what, two hours of daylight? So I'm good. I'm good. I'm slightly panicking that I'm lost, but no, I'm good. I kind of know where I'm going. So just keep going. Did I just do a loop? I did. Am I lost? <laughs> this is why I don't like going out in the woods by myself. I have a terrible sense of direction. 1A is that way. Which way is this? I don't know, I'm going this way. <laughs> Good thing it's not almost getting dark. Because I'm lost. <laughs> I also brought my other dirt bike because I thought I'd have time to ride that, but I don't know. I may have a little bit of time to ride that. Man, I thought I knew my way around this place. Man, is it getting dark? I don't want to be riding dirt bike in the dark again, especially by myself with no map. Why did I not take a picture of the map before I left? That was a stupid idea. I'm curious what battery level this thing's at, because I've been riding this thing for probably two hours. That rattling is starting to really annoy me. What is it? Is something coming loose? Is something about to fall off? I don't know. Hopefully not. I'm 
remember this, you know, only maybe taking like an hour. Either I'm just going deeper and deeper into the woods, or this is the way out. Because it is a loop. And I remember rail one being a loop. I just don't remember it being this thinking long. still here. Hey, my dirt bike's still there, so that's good. So I just hopped on this for a little bit just to ride because I bothered to bring it and I wanted to ride it. I put a brand new front tire or brand new rear tire in this thing, so I wanted to test that out. I didn't want to go too far because the sun's kind of going down. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to be riding this thing in the dark again. But uh, after riding that, that thing is just, it's so much more fun, to be honest. Th th this, that's fun, but this is just, the amount of instant torque that this thing has is just incredible. But uh, not really sure how well to describe the feeling of it. It's just, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But uh, yeah. I'd love to do a comparison test with this and a stock YZ85, do like a top speed test, drag race test, hill climb test to kind of see, you know, the comparison of this versus an versus a stock YZ85. But uh, sometime in the future, maybe I'll do that. But for now, I guess this is a good baseline test. And I got to say, I'm impressed with that thing. But uh, anyway, I got to pack up and head out of here before it gets dark. I hate... Filming by myself. I'll be honest, I hate filming by myself. I feel so self-conscious when there's other people staring at me. Who's he talking to? He's talking to himself. He's a weirdo. Anyway, I gotta pack up and get, and get out of here before it gets dark. So before I go, I'm, I almost forgot to check how much battery this thing has left. So... So to test the battery, I have to hook up the Far Driver app. It's connected. Wow, 61% battery. So that's not bad for, I mean, two and a half, like two, two and a half hours of riding for 60%, 61% battery. That's not bad. But I will admit, the, down, the downside with electric is even at like, 50 60 percent battery it's not full power it's not like gas where you could be running on very little gas and it's still full power electric when it gets down to like 50 percent it's just yeah you can really notice that it's not full power anymore so that is the downside with electric stuff but so i'd say for safety sake this thing probably has a three hour runtime roughly Anyway, I'm all loaded up. Let's get the heck out of here.